let's move our focus now and take a look at the financial news as driving the Nigerian fixed income and forex market. Now, for that, we've joined by Eze Okone, who's a trader at UBA. Eze, thanks for your time today. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you, Didi. Let's move out now. Let's, let's take a look at how the Naira is trading today. I mean, we saw uh, CBN auction $580 million uh, uh, through the... Uh, through the W that that's this week. Now, of course, this gives an indication that uh, we are not seeing enough flows from foreign investors. Now, of course, if this trend continues, this could possibly lead to a weakness in foreign reserves, which could trigger a confidence crisis as to where the Naira is headed. Um, interesting. Yes, you mentioned CBN actually did offer $600 million, but the take-up was 580, showing that there was a bit of a slowdown in the amount required by the banks in terms of um, funding for the FX requirement via the CBN window. Um, interesting also, we saw the um, rate at the CBN window gain one cover, closing at 155.75 from Monday 155.76. That's a one couple uh, appreciation. Um, in terms of reserve level, I don't think that uh, where we are now and um, where the currency is trading and um, what the uh, CBN is offering in terms of the amounts that are put on sale on the bi weekly auction, I don't think at this rate and at this pace is going to cost, uh, give a cause for serious concern. I don't think so. I think that um, overall you're going to get the offshore guys still coming inside. I think you're going to get other alternative sources of um, FX to come into the market. I think um, typically the, the quarter, quarter end demand that comes in in terms of the end users for Forex, we've seen those demands filtering into the market and as such we've seen the Naira weaken to an extent. So really, these are seasonal factors, in my opinion, and um, we, I don't think that it's going to cause so much um, of concern in terms of people moving out of the country because of the reserve level. That's not my um, um, case-out scenario for the um, depreciation that we've seen in the currency. Overall, if you look at the currency trading for this week, the trading sessions from Monday to today, currency has been relatively flat, opened at 158.20 in the interbank market and is closing at around that level of 158.20. So really, it's now been a shocker in the interbank market as we've seen for the pre, um, last couple of weeks. What about going forward? I mean, obviously, as we, we move towards uh, the end of the week, what are your expectations for the Naira? I don't think the Naira is going to trade much above um, out of this range. I actually envisage that we might get a bit of um, Naira strengthening into the close of the week. I think we might see Naira maybe close the week around 158 levels even or sub 158. But overall, I don't think that anything is going to push Naira out of this Naira range that is traded from the start of the week. Okay, now the, there was some expectation that yields in the T-bill market would climb further today. I mean, we saw... Uh, uh, an uh, OMO auction today, we saw yields go from 12% to 12.5%. It's, it's, it's definitely uh, good news to see uh, some OMO auctions this week. It would be, it would be great if you could talk us through uh, the OMO auction that we had today. Our uh, interesting OMO auction from um, the start of this week, um, major auctions that are done for yesterday and today. We saw the range yesterday doing sub uh, 11 to 12 percent and today we saw it crossing at 12.12.5 percent. Well, it's overall good news for the investors, um, yields climbing up. E, um, it, provides a bit of more attractiveness in terms of um, asset, asset returns for investors and for the offshore guys also. So I think those are the elements that we'll see or those are the factors that we'll see that will continue to prop a support, a support for the currency for now. Um, in the primary markets, the results are out, yields also up. Um, about a hundred basis point from where they closed, uh, a hundred to fifty basis point from where they closed at the previous auction. Uh, not surprising in, in all these um, dynamics that we've seen. Um, really, because what else is expected to push the yields for that low? There's really no factor you could look about in terms of economic indices that should support yields going down further than it where it already touched in the last one month three weeks and stuff like that so mm -hmm. really seeing re yields back up at this level is interesting encouraging and we don't think that even though we might see a little bit more uptick in the yields where well, we don't think that it's something that's going to push into the excessive levels of the 13 percent for now that's our opinion 
Now, we're expecting 300 billion Naira in Treasury maturities tomorrow. Now, that's obviously expected to have an impact on liquidity this week. Uh, I believe we're also expecting another auction this week. It would be interesting to know how you see the yield dynamics for the maturity and auction uh, going forward. Um, yeah, for the auction and uh, the maturity coming in um, tomorrow, net of what's coming into the market is 200 and about 260 billion naira. Auction results rates are already out. We have 91 days closing at 11 percent and um, 182 days closing a little bit above 11 percent. I think the market has priced in these factors that we're seeing a bit, a bit, a bit of rising yields. But interesting to note that. Uh, while you have um, the short end um, rising yields at the short end, the fixed um, the um, bond market, which is out out on the one year into the twenty years, is a, is slowly picking up some bidding interest. I mean, we're seeing um, across the curve, we're seeing uh, the bond market, uh, the curve, the yield lose between two to nine basis points across the curve. So it's. Um, it's a dynamic because uh, on the OMO on the OMO on the short end front you have the CBN needing to mop up liquidity but in terms of real investors appetite in terms of portfolio managers and what they will do in terms of where they want to do strategic investment into you look at the bond space you see that interest still exists there and it seems to be some pickup on that front and how would you uh, advise a fixed income investor to play the yield curve? I believe that we have an inverted yield curve now and we've seen a uh, TBL, uh, 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 the market trading significantly higher than the bond market and of course traders are waiting for the next bond auction. Um, obviously, I still think you have values in the table market, um, depending on what your portfolio risk assessment is. I think you have value in the tables market. I think continue to play the table market for now as a major um, size in the major size of your portfolio will pay off better. But overall, I still think across the curve you got value all across.